five out of one out of every five people gets an autograph, and uh, the rest of the time they just come by and just to say hello and say thank you. So it's a big love fest, and I think it's uh, probably one of the most rewarding experiences I've had. What do you think it is about Battlestar Galactica that has stood the test of time now with two separate franchises? Big story. You know, it's always been the story. So. The original story and then of course the reimagination of that original story have proven to be something that people really understand. When it comes to Battlestar Galactica, the shows are over, but they continue with things like Battlestar Galactica online, the video game. What role do you feel that plays in allowing people to still relive the series? Well, reliving the series is uh, all you have to do is go on Netflix or go on and uh, basically what you want to do is uh, uh, allow people to, you know, enjoy themselves in this lifetime, and uh, they seem to enjoy themselves with the Battlestar Galactica franchise as well as the uh, Star Trek and the Star Wars franchises and all of the different franchises. So people enjoy themselves. Have you checked out, or are you familiar with what's going on when it comes to the video game side of things with Battlestar? Well, not really. I haven't. Uh, they've asked me to partake, but they're always very. People who have asked me to join up with them and be a part of their game have been very, very uh, cheap with their uh, sharing of the uh, revenue that comes into those situations. They become very, very uh, difficult to deal with, and I just don't deal with them. I mean, basically, they can go ahead and do whatever they want to do, but I'm not going to partake with them and think that they are going to use my artistry in any way and not have to pay for it. So I, I never get involved with them. I haven't found anybody that can afford me yet. <laughs> okay.